Kia ora koutou. My name's Dave, and I'm a biodiversity ranger from Kapiti. Today, I'm going to give you the lowdown on biodiversity, what it is, and why it's so important to us. So what is biodiversity? When we talk about biodiversity, we're talking about the variety of plants, animals and creatures that are found in our environment. And that variety here in Aotearoa is huge. So why is it so special then? Well, every species, no matter how big or small, has an important role to play in supporting the ecosystem in which they live. These species must rely on each other to survive and it's all connected, even to us. In no honga ngā tahitanga ahau me te taiao. We live as one with our natural world. Here's an example. Did you know kereru are our only birds that can disperse the big seeds of many of our native trees? Miro, Tawa, Taraire and Niko all rely on kereru to spread their seeds. So, Kereru are essential to New Zealand's native biodiversity. Have a look around you. Biodiversity is everywhere. From remote places, to nearby spaces. From your front yard, to your neighbour's yard. From the very tips of our mountain tops, to the bottom of our oceans. And everything in between. Arr. In New Zealand, we have around 70,000 species that live in our diverse environment, many of which exist only here in Aotearoa. At DOC, we work with many of these interesting life forms. We have rangers working with our bats, forests, frogs, wetlands, whales, weta, kōkako, kiwi, kākāpō, kia, and even snails. Like Mituna, she works with Fior in all Portiki. I'm a biodiversity ranger and I'm lucky because I get to do what I love. As a kid, I loved anything to do with wildlife and that stuck with me. Where you go, Max? So it's really cool to have a job now working closely with our native species and our special places and also with my dog. <laughs> Max is a Fior dog in training. It's really neat having your buddy beside you in the bush. I get to take him out and get him used to the bush, the tracks, and most importantly, the river and how to find fuel. For me, it's just being out with the dog, being out in the bush and nature, and also seeing the fruits of your labor, I guess. Seeing ducklings fledge or the little bush birds pop out. Those are all the little things that make your job worthwhile. Looks like Matuna really loves her job, huh? But it's a big responsibility looking after an endangered species. We all need to work together to help create an environment that nurtures and protects these living treasures. I'm here at Discovery School, the Enviro School in Porirua, to see what action they're taking. Hey Sophie and Sophie, this area looks really cool. Can you tell me what was here beforehand? So it was just like plain grass and yeah. then like we just like put like bark and then we put like stones and like logs and like trees and now then like the trees are growing like big and like little creatures like hide in them. Yeah. And you planted all these plants as well? Yeah. We had this big um, working bee where we sort of transformed the whole and what's that done for wildlife? I think it um, makes a safer home and habitat for them. And it feels like they're like home. Are you quite excited that you can bring wildlife like that by changing yeah, their yeah, grasses? Yeah, it's really cool. Because you've created this nice habitat for the bugs, then you've created also food for the lizards and the birds as well, so yeah. then they're happy. If we didn't have this like little like lizard garden, we wouldn't like be able to see these type of things. Mm. It's kind of like an outdoor classroom. That's cool. These are bush journals that we make in our classes. So 
So what kind of things do you keep in your journal? So we keep um, treasures in Tonga that we find on the ground in the bush. Sometimes even types of leaves. Say you see a kōwhai tree, you just want to sketch that. If one year we draw a tree and the next year we draw the same tree, we can see how the tree's grown. Pretty much our forest diary. Yeah. He mahi mihiro. Awesome work, Discovery School. See how easy it is? Head on over to the DOC website or ask your teacher for the bug hunt or bird count tally sheets so you can get monitoring in your area. And remember to document and share your projects. Understanding and caring for our biodiversity is of great benefit to us all. Healthy ecosystems help produce clean air, fresh water, and a home for our unique living treasures, as well as ourselves. As Kaitiaki, we're all responsible for the biodiversity in and around our rohe, ensuring our plants, creatures, and wildlife will still be around for everyone to enjoy in the future. So what are you waiting for? No matter where you live, get out into nature and discover some of our unique biodiversity. Kapai hokikwe.